The Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund and Louie Broadcasting have teamed up to bring the wall that heals to Erie on Memorial Day weekend. Now, prior to the arrival of the wall, we're featuring local Vietnam veterans and their families. In tonight's edition of Vietnam Reflections, the spotlight is on Erie's Jerry Dunn. And if we had a surgery that popped up or something like that, I'd spend six hours in surgery. So there were days I worked 18, 18 hours. You just never knew what was going to go on. Long hours in 1968 were just part of Jerry Dunn's service time. As a corpsman on the USS Hornet, he assisted in the operating room and tended to those in need in sick bay. But his biggest fight came 40 years after he left Vietnam and was diagnosed with stomach cancer. He was exposed to Agent Orange in Panama. Dr. Patel rushed over to St. Vincent's where I was. They immediately rushed me up, ran the tube down all the way through my stomach, and here at the bottom of my stomach, the tumor was where the intestine was, so it was actually pumping the blood directly into the intestine, so there was no blood in the stomach. So he put a clip on it, and then they got me prepared, and that next morning at 6.30 in the morning, they went in and they did the surgery and saved my life. In April of 1969, Dunn returned home, but it was anything but a hero's welcome when he arrived in Los Angeles. To come home and have people calling you murder and baby killer. So that's why none of us up Vietnam vets when we came home, we didn't wear the hats, we didn't talk about it, none of us did. The 1964 graduate of Strong Vincent High School did enjoy most of his service time. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. And he was part of the crew that picked up Apollo 11 and Apollo 12 astronauts. You know, my wife got to see me on TV shaking hands with President Nixon when he was leaving the ship and stuff like that. And Jerry Dunn's commitment to the military continues to this day. He plays taps at local military funerals and also participates in area memorial services. And if you'd like to help us out, volunteer with the setup and teardown of the wall that heals, we have a sign-up page on our website, erienewsnow.com. The setup is an eight-hour-plus process, so we'll need your help. It takes place Thursday, May 26th at 8 a.m. at the Zemzem Shrine Club, the teardown. Monday, May 30th at 2. Again, all the volunteer information is on our website, erienewsnow.com. Wow, what a story Jerry Dunn has. Yeah, he fought, you know, cancer for five years and made it through that. What, a, what an incredible journey he's had. Yeah.